Hey folks, good afternoon. This is Brian Stevens with Survival on Purpose and today I want to do a quick video review of a product I bought from the Pathfinder store, thepathfinderstore.com. That's Dave Canterbury's website and this is one of the knives that I bought from Dave Canterbury. And it is called the Pathfinder Trade Knife. It was 110 bucks, I think, maybe 115 now. They were sold out, but I believe he's got some more coming. So I want to go over this with you real quick. First of all, this knife is made by Habilis Bush Tools, which is right here in Georgia where I am. It is a carbon steel knife. It's a very strong knife. You see it has got a, it's got a solid full tang. It's got some kind of blue. I think it's blue. The finish is blue, so to kind of minimize rust and damage. It is a high carbon knife, carbon steel, so it will strike a spark from a flint. It's got a modified Scandi grind, I believe it is. It's pretty sharp right out of the box and it's really easy to keep sharp. Um, it's got these G10 handles. I believe they're G10. They're really nice. I've got a little divot here for using that for a spindle for a fire starter. There's two sleeved holes. You can use the lash to make a spear or whatever. I, don't know. I just keep a, I keep an orange lanyard in mind, mostly not to use as a lanyard, just so if I drop it in the woods, I can find it pretty easy. Um, so that's, that's kind of the specs on the knife. I don't know what, what number it is or whatever as far as the steel, but I know it's really strong. I've had this one now for six or eight months using it camping using it with the boy scouts and it's none the worse for wear it's uh it's it's, it's got habilis bush tools and pathfinder logo on it and also what i'm really impressed with it comes with this great sheath and i've got this i've got some stuff stuck on mine so i'll take that off i've got, I've got a couple of ranger bands with some uh my uh fire starter stuff on it so but it comes with this great sheath, and I think the sheath is made by Condor. It's a leather sheath, really solid. Probably if you had to buy this alone, it'd be worth 30 bucks. So, um, and it's a belt sheath. That. So I want to show you a couple of things about the knife, just to show you it's, it's, um, it's pretty strong. So first of all, let me set this down out of the way. Okay, so I want to show you this thing. One of the, one of the great benefits I like about this is it's got a 90 degree spine. For throwing sparks on a ferro rod so i've got this ferro rod i bought here from fire steel llc we'll talk about that another time just want to show you what it does so throw sparks really well um, another thing it does is see it's got a big heavy blade on it pretty pretty thick blade if you use if you use it's also got this kind of a built-in finger guard here i like that a lot keep you lets you really chuck up on it for fine work and if you want to make a feather stick, and this has got the bark on it, which you probably wouldn't normally do, but you can see it shaves pretty good for such a big knife, strong knife. Does a good job of shaving. This is really, really dry oak, so it's pretty tough stuff. So you can make a feather stick with it. <coughs> also, you can use it just to... Uh, your basic rough camp carving. It's not really a chopper, but if you need to chop a little bit with it, you can. To make a tent stake or whatever, it's not a problem. Works pretty good. Other thing is, it's big enough and heavy enough to baton. It's long enough. Oh, I got my fire steel there, so I got this pretty good piece of oak here. So, get it out of there and get a little, bit, a little better purchase on it. So if you need to process firewood with it, it works well for that. Strong knife. Plenty big enough, strong enough. Plenty big enough and strong enough to uh, process firewood. You're probably not going to find any firewood like this in the woods, but you're going to be looking at three to four inch limbs. And I believe this has got like a five, around a five inch blade on it. Once again, that's got the lanyard hole. Like I said, I just put this on there where I can, where I can find it. 
Um, something I always do, I've got my fire steel and some ranger bands, which are just made out of an old bicycle inner tube. I keep those on my knife sheath just so I have one of my fire steels here with my knife at all times. I also probably got three or four more on me at all times when I'm camping in the woods, when I'm in the woods. So, once again, this is about a, <laughs> the best value I've seen in a, a knife like everything else that um, Dave sells on his website. I think the quality is great. The, um, and in this particular case, the price is exceptional. This is about the least expensive true bushcraft knife that's on the site. And for the money, I think there's, um, you just can't, you can't do it, find a better deal. Once again, this is the Pathfinder Trade Knife, uh, around a little over a hundred bucks and comes with a great sheath. I think he's actually got a Kydex sheath for it now. Um, I bought mine several months ago, like I say, but check, check on the website. It is thepathfinderstore.com. I'm not affiliated with Dave or this Pathfinder store in any way, but I appreciate good products. And this has served me well, and I hope think it will do the same for you. So I hope this has been helpful. If you're on the fence about finding a good knife for around 100 bucks, this is a good one. Probably, a, like I say again, the best value I, I think I've seen for, for that price. Um, and, it, and it is pretty much not custom, but it is a, made in a custom shop. So hope this has been helpful. I want to thank you very much for your views. Thanks for your subscriptions. Thanks for your liking my video and for, for just checking me out, letting, letting all your friends know about it if, if, if you think it's a good video. And if you got any comments or any, anything you'd like to see me make a video about, be sure and leave your comments below. I'll read every one of them. Uh, so thanks again. This is Brian with Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is no accident. I'll see you next time.